Well, hello there, and thanks for joining Uncomplicated Math today. Today we're going to be looking at how to multiply mixed numbers. And by the end of this video, you'll know the steps involved when multiplying mixed numbers. So let's get started. So in question number one, we're being asked to multiply the mixed numbers 1 and 1 third times 2 and 2 fourths. So looking over to the right hand side here under our steps involved, we can see that our first step is to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. And now if you're unsure of how to convert a mixed number to an improper fraction, or the flip side of how to convert an improper fraction to a mixed number, then I encourage you to pause this video and take a look at some of the video links in the description below where we break down these processes into a lot more detail. So returning back to question number one, we need to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. To do this, first we're gonna multiply the value of our denominator by the value of our whole number. And for our first mixed number, we're gonna multiply three times one, which we know gives us three, then we need to add on the value of our numerator. So when we add three plus one, we get four for four thirds. Now we're gonna convert our second mixed number and we're gonna begin by multiplying the value of our denominator by the value of our whole number, which when we multiply four times two, we get eight, plus the remaining two numerator gives us 10 for 10 fourths. So now we can move on to step number two where we're gonna multiply our numerators. And when we multiply four times 10, we get 40. Now we're gonna move on to step number three where we're gonna multiply our denominators. And when we multiply three times four, we get 12 for 40 twelfths. So now we're gonna move on to step number four where we're gonna simplify the fraction. And in brackets, we see the term mixed number. And the reason that that's there is because currently we have an improper fraction. The value of our numerator is greater than the value of our denominator. So we can't leave this as is, we have to convert this improper fraction into a mixed number. And to do this, first we're gonna start out by dividing the value of our numerator by the value of our denominator. So in this case, we have a numerator of 40 and we have a denominator of 12. So we're gonna start working through the division steps from left to right, dividing 40 by 12. And we know that we can't make a group of 12 out of four, so we're gonna move from left to right and see if we can make a group of 12 out of 40. And we can, we can actually make three whole groups of 12 out of 40, so we're gonna write our three above the zero, and then we're gonna move on to our next division step, which is to multiply. And when we multiply three times 12, we get 36. Our next division step is to subtract, and when we take away 36 from 40, we're left with four. And now we don't have any numbers to bring down, so we're done with this division problem but we still have a remainder of four. So we're gonna record this remainder of four up top by just writing an R and then putting a four beside it. So when we divide 40 by 12, we get three and a remainder of four. So now we're gonna write out our mixed number. So the three here, which represents three whole groups of 12, is the whole number part of our mixed number. So we have three and our denominator hasn't changed. It's still in 12, so we'll record that there and then our remainder is gonna be our numerator. And in this case, we had a remainder of four, so we're gonna write the remainder of four for our numerator. But as we can see here, we can actually simplify the fraction part of our mixed number a little bit further. So before we do that, first we're gonna record our three up top because we know that the value of our whole number is not gonna change, it's just gonna be the fraction part of this mixed number. So we're gonna simplify the fraction part by dividing both of these numbers by four, because both four and 12 are multiples of four. And when we divide 12 by four, we get three. And when we divide four by four, we get one for one third. So when we multiply one and one third times two and two fourths, we get the mixed number of three and one third when written in its lowest possible terms. So now we're gonna move on to question number two, where this time we're being asked to multiply the mixed numbers one and two thirds times two and one fifth. So remembering our first step is to convert these mixed numbers to improper fractions. So we're gonna begin with the same step as we did the last time, which is to multiply the value of our denominator by the value of our whole number. And we know that three times one gives us three, and then we need to add on the remaining two parts for our numerator, and three plus two gives us five for five thirds. 
Now we're going to convert our second mixed number. So we're going to begin with the same process of multiplying our denominator by our whole number. And 5 times 2 gives us 10, plus the remaining 1 for our numerator gives us 11 for 11 fifths. So now we're going to move on to step number 2, where we're going to multiply our numerators. And when we multiply 5 times 11, we get 55. Now we're going to move on to step number 3, where we're going to multiply our denominators. And when we multiply 3 times 5, we get 15 for 55 fifteenths. So now we're going to move on to step number four, where we're going to simplify this fraction. And once again, we have an improper fraction, so we need to convert this into a mixed number. So we're going to divide the value of our numerator, which in this case is 55, by the value of our denominator, which in this case is 15. Now, we can't make a group of 15 out of 5, so we're going to move from left to right and see if we can make a group of 15 out of 55. Well, we know that we can make three whole groups of 15 out of 55, so we're going to write the 3 up top, and then we're going to move on to our next division step, which is to multiply. And when we multiply 3 times 15, we get 45. And next is to subtract, and when we take away 45 from 55, we're left with 10. And since we don't have any numbers to bring down, we're done with this division problem, so when we divide 55 by 15, we get 3 with a remainder of 10. So now we're going to write out our mixed number once again, and we can see here that we had three whole groups of 15, so the whole number portion of our mixed number is going to be 3, and then our denominator hasn't changed, it's still in 15, so we're going to write 15, and then our numerator is our remainder, which in this case happens to be 10. And just like we did in our last problem, we can simplify the fractional part of our mixed number. We know that the whole number isn't going to change. There's still going to be three whole groups. So once again, we're going to record our whole number up top, and then we're going to simplify the fractional part of this mixed number. And we know that both 15 and 10 are multiples of 5, so we're going to divide both 15 and 10 by 5. And when we divide 15 by 5, we're left with 3, and when we divide 10 by 5, we're left with 2 for 2 thirds. So when we multiply 1 and 2 thirds times 2 and 1 fifth, we get 3 and 2 thirds when written in its lowest possible terms. So hopefully by now you understand the steps involved when multiplying mixed numbers. Help make math less complicated by smashing those like and subscribe buttons. As always, enjoy today's math journey.